So, Josie, you see the kind of guns that are being turned in. You see the people that are turning in. Maybe your grandfather's gun or something like that. You got to ask them, what's the point? Of these buybacks. Well, as we said in the story, it's not the it's not the last step they want you to take. They okay. want it to be the first step. They know that in communities like Baltimore, where street violence is a serious problem, that these people have a stake in the game, and they can't complain about the problem of violence unless they're physically going to do something. So these may not be the weapons that are going to be used necessarily by a criminal, but they're still weapons that could be used in the commission of a crime. So if you're going to complain about gun violence, this is the first step you can take. And experts say, although it's not going to curb crime, at least it gets you into the game. You're engaged enough in your community to know that it's a problem and you have some power in doing something about it. And one of the keys is they're involved in actually preventing accidents. I'm sure that's a critical point. Well, experts have studied the, this problem with gun buybacks and whether or not they're effective when it comes to actual gun violence and really making an impact there. They say that it doesn't. But with accidental shootings, we've seen a tremendous drop, not just here in Maryland, but across the nation when it comes to accidental shootings. Some people think that gun buybacks may play a role in that. Now, Maryland has a law that also gets a lot of credit for this problem, too. On tomorrow's episode of In Focus, we're going to talk about that. And we'll We'll dig into why when it comes to these accidental shootings, what we've done here in Maryland. And there's another wrinkle even to that problem because the numbers we can report to you about accidental shootings, experts will tell you those don't even paint an accurate picture. So tomorrow we'll explain that as well. All right, stay tuned. Much more to come. All right, thanks, Josie.